Logan Meyer has never been the type of player to frequently bang it out in the paint or take the rock to the rim, something he noticed in himself within his game from early on. But I've, I feel like I've always just, shooting's been kind of my thing. I've never really been an inside player, obviously. But for the average spectator, being a talented marksman from behind the arc is not as easy as it looks, especially when you compare shooting by yourself in a gym and putting up shots with an actual defender on you in a game situation. And just being calm and collected and just knowing that you got a good shot and that if you focus up and just be confident in your shot, then I think that's the, that's the key for me is just be confident in my shot and know that I got a good release and everything and not get too much in my head. Being a talented perimeter shooter usually doesn't come naturally. It takes focus and a lot of reps in the gym and sometimes some outside help. I've had like travel ball coaches in the past that helped me kind of get the mechanics down and then pretty much from there I just worked on it myself. It's mostly touch for me. I just feel like working on the touch is the best thing you can do. There's also different tendencies that shooters prefer. Shooting off the dribble or what they call spot up shooting. Catching the ball in position to get the shot off immediately with no dribbles. I honestly feel like I'm more of an off the dribble guy. I feel like I can get set up more and get the shot that I want more. Like I feel like if I'm setting up before I just, I, I'm not in like the groove really. Like I kind of like taking a dribble. And last but not least, those little minute details are ever so important when it comes to being labeled a pure shooter. I feel like it's your feet, your mechanics and all that and just like squaring up to the hoop and just focusing on the rim and following through the hoop. In Billings, Braden Kane, SWX Montana.